good morning, good morning, or rather good afternoon. It is 12.04 p.m. Central Standard Time, Thursday, February 18th, 2021. It's a cloudy day out here, but beautiful nonetheless. Every day above ground is beautiful. Does like my Black Panther shirt. Sporting it for Black History Month. Well, I wear it any even if it wasn't Black History Month, I wear it. Black history is every day to me, so yeah. You know, our accomplishments and our achievements are anything pertaining to our heritage, our history should not just be relegated to one month. And then it's only 28 days in February. So the shortest fucking month of the year. And typically the coldest month of the year. So that's rather uh, insulting, if you ask me. But anyway, besides that, how are you guys doing? Uh... I just want to talk briefly about uh, the passing of, of Rush Limbaugh. You know, he's, uh, he was a, a radio personality. What do you call that? Radio syndicate? Or is, yeah, this radio personality. He died yesterday. And, uh, shit. I'm not shedding any tears for that bastard. He was a racist. He basically said a lot of shit that was very negative about black Americans, about black people, period. He was a staunch racist. Uh, some people say he was also anti, anti-woman or he was anti-feminist. I guess I can say I'm sort of anti-feminist to, you know, to a degree. I believe in feminism. You know, that's that's... That is feminine. You know, I don't like a, a feminism that is just masculine or very, you know, whenever it becomes anti-male uh, or anti-man, that's when I hate it. That's when it becomes poisonous. Like they say, there's uh, this toxic masculinity. There is such a thing as toxic femininity as well. But anyway, he was accused of, uh, he was labeled uh, to be, where well, he was an anti anti-black, he was very anti-black he was a fucking racist some say he was anti-feminist and xenophobic or whatever but the bastard died yesterday and hey good riddance man, like I said I'm not shedding any goddamn tears fuck him uh, and he said some bullshit about Fred Hampton I, I, I learned this morning, I was watching this uh, program on YouTube and uh with the Red Peel and two other brothers. Uh, and uh, what they were saying is that when Fred Hampton died, well, 20 years after Fred Hampton had died, he said some uh, deplorable things about Fred Hampton's, you know, and basically he was happy that Fred Hampton died on the 20-year 20, 20 20 year anniversary. And then 20 years after, this bastard said made that comment his ass dead so 40 years after fred hampton's uh well really fred hampton died 51 years ago uh this month he died december what was it december 4th 1969 so basically 51 years ago this past december marked the uh 51 uh year anniversary but that bastard, Rush Limbaugh, said some derogatory, disparaging uh, things about uh, Fred Hampton 20 years after the passing of or the murder, the assassination, the neutralization of Fred Hampton. And 20 years after he made that fucking comment, his, pitch, his punk ass dies of uh, cancer. Uh, so, hey, cancer whipped his ass. And uh, like I said, I'm not shedding any tears. I know there are a lot of people around the world who are not shedding tears for that bastard, especially, especially black people. So, 
hope the bastard burn in hell. I hate to sound insensitive, but it is what it is. I believe in fighting fire with fire. You know, some people believe, oh, you got to turn the other cheek. No, man, you don't have to turn the other cheek. You have to fight fire with fire. In order to defeat your enemies, you have to stand up to your enemies. It's like, you know, you got to stand up to a bully. You can't turn the other cheek because uh, you will always be bullied. And he said some bullshit. You know, he said a lot of crazy shit about black people. You know, and it is what it is. His bitch ass is gone and we don't have to worry about his ass anymore. So it's very redemptive. That's redemption and, you know, and it's fullest. You know, the epitome of uh, the big payback. And he also died on uh, Huey P. Newton's birthday. Huey P. Newton's birthday was yesterday. So ain't that something, huh? The ancestors are speaking. The ancestors are speaking. So he died on uh, Huey P. Newton's birthday. And exactly uh, 20 years after he made that remark about Fred Hampton's passing or being assassinated, he's happy that he was happy that Fred Hampton was killed. So beautiful. Besides that, everything is beautiful. Uh, it's a little flurries out here. We're getting a few little flurries. It's a little uh, chilly, but it's warming up. Uh, we've been very fortunate as of late. Uh, let's see what is the temperature, the current temperature right now. It is. Oh, it's really. At last, I think it was like nine degrees a little earlier. Let me see if I can find the current temperature. I don't want to disrupt the video. So I'm just going to say when I checked it earlier, it was uh, it was uh, like, well, okay, it says here 14 right now. It's 14 degrees right now, cloudy. Yeah, 